one thing. All right, this is going to be fun. On a daily basis, <laughs> we are bombarded with new theories about diet and exercise, yep. but there are some basic truths about our bodies that never change with the fats. Even though our bodies change over time, surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul Jandial is here with his infamous thumbs up, thumbs down <laughs> edition of Myths of Fitness. All right, my thumbs and, are warmed up. Uh, there are quite a few. So I'm at the gym the other day. I'm listening to the personal trainers. They look fit, and yeah. they are saying things like, and you tell me if it's true or right. false, if you stop working out, your muscle can turn to fat. False. Yeah, absolutely false. And I think people have a hard time conceptualizing this. Your flesh and bones, your flesh doesn't turn to bones and your bones <laughs> don't turn to flesh. <laughs> Just like fat and muscle, they don't turn into right. each other. You have both and those components can shrink and expand, uh -huh. but they don't flip between each well, other. What happens, I, I do notice if, if I'm not working out, mm -hmm. my you muscles do yeah. sort of Exactly. So well, first you lose the pump. If you work out the next couple of days, you have an increased blood flow and these sort of things. So it's just that your muscles are no longer pumped up as much and you feel flabbier. But it's not actually that the muscle cells or the muscle muscle tissue melted and became fat Thank tissue. Thank goodness. Okay. It, doesn't go, it doesn't go the other way either. Right. That's the bad news too. <laughs> the next one is... If you work out hard, you need some protein at the end because when you work out, there's muscle damage and you need protein to, to bulk it up. True. Well, you know what you're saying, it makes I know. it sound false, but I well, think it's true. Uh, I, you don't know how I'm setting you up, but right. it's false. It really? is false. So here's the issue. The, you, you don't use protein to build muscle unless you're in a starved state. Okay, you have enough protein in your body now. You don't need that protein boost afterwards. It's not like drinking a shake and it goes right to your biceps. I wish it were that easy. But you have enough protein in your system already to rebuild the damage you've done Not with your curls. Not to get technical on right. you, but what about Let's the muscle milk and the lactic acid and the, the soreness and all of that? You know, Americans have enriched food. There are no patients coming in starving from malnutrition. If you go to the gym and you work out, you have enough resources within you to should build yourself we, as much. Should we okay. eat something after a workout then? You don't. You ask marathoners, what do they eat? They eat complex carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. That's your immediate source of energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Protein is not. But that's a, it's a conceptual thing. People can drink that? some protein. Yeah. Okay. And the last one is, if you want to lose fat, do a lot of cardio and do a lot of crunches. Yes. Cardio, yes, True. crunches, I'm not sure. Can Everybody I do a sideways? Sort of, yeah, well, <laughs> you did that last time. I did. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maintain my False. sideways thumb. What? False. Here, here's what studies are showing now that we've known for a while. It's cross-training. Uh, it's not just cardio. So if yeah. you want to be physically fit and look good, you want to do cross-training right. as well as cardio, which is light weights, machine weights, as well as running. If you want to cure your diabetes by losing some weight. Then also, cross training works better than just dropping 10 pounds. And what do you mean by cross training? Cross training is just Weight a mix and of. Okay, gotcha. Treadmill. Gotcha. Yeah, but, okay. but isn't cardio the best way for me to burn, burn cal calories? Not oh, necessarily. You, you, you set me up perfectly. Though. When you do a little bit of weights afterwards, yeah. your muscles keep burning excess calories. So if you want to burn the equal amount of calories, weights and running versus running for one hour each, the weights and running. I think wins. we need to go okay. to the gym with Dr. John I thought you were going to get them all today. These are trick questions. <laughs> <laughs> for more information about today's topic and uh, others, go to ktla.com/slash Dr. John Good to see you, Doctor. Thanks, Doc.